Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's -a go! Let's go!
Okay, can you hear me now? I am sorry, I had no idea that my stupid microphone had come unplugged. I've been talking this whole time, wondering like, why is nobody responding to me? I did not have any idea that the stupid thing came unplugged from my computer. I apologize. I was having some issues with my controller being like not syncing up very well. And so I was messing with that and I guess I unplugged the mic somehow. Sorry about that. Anyway, I guess I'll re-ask the questions then. Captain Wesker and uh, new person whose name I can't really read it. Um, how are you tonight? Uh, I feel you on that, Captain Wesker. I'm pretty tired myself. Like, I had that Ghostbuster competition thing yesterday, and I did not sleep the night before, so I think I was awake for a total of 37 hours. <laughs> but other than that, I'm doing okay. You know, just playing this little homebrew Mario game that is actually surprisingly very well polished. And this, is, and this is just a demo, but I've been playing it for the last couple hours. Now I'm starting to wonder how long my mic hasn't been working. I'm pretty sure it's just been since that Cat Mario level, so it hasn't been too terribly long. Hmm. Well, when I downloaded it, it came with like this launcher thing in the file folder, and when I clicked on that, it just kind of booted up automatically. I went to download it, I just like looked up Mario the Rainbow Stars and it took me to, like this, what, I guess they had their like a little website page for it. And I just downloaded that and included, it, it included the thing that runs these homebrew Mario games and the file photos for Mario and the Rainbow Stars and then I just clicked on the launcher and everything just kind of set itself up. Uh, if my mic was off, then I, I had a whole story I was talking about that it probably got cut out. Yeah, earlier today, since I, I wasn't really doing much, I didn't feel like getting out. <laughs> I ended up just uh, binging that 90s show. And I gotta say, it's not great. <laughs> Like, when they when they rebooted Full House and did Fuller House, you could tell that they were very much like, just, and you could tell the actors were just doing it because they were doing it for the fun of it, you know, like, but they're very fourth wall breaking and self-aware. But that 90s show feels like it's almost trying too hard to do kind of like that, but not. 
I don't know, it's weird to describe. And it's like the kids who are playing the kids in the 90s don't really seem to understand why the things in the 90s were fun and awesome. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we love this stuff, but you can tell the kids are like, I don't get this shit at all. <laughs> for pointing out that my mic wasn't working, otherwise I would have done this for the rest of this entire stream without knowing that people couldn't hear me. <laughs> yeah, in the future, um, if you ever decide to watch this channel again and you don't hear me talking, odds are my stupid mic just came unplugged and I'm not really doing it. I swear I'm much better at Mario games than this. I've been playing for a couple hours, so I'm getting a little sloppy. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be pretty noisy. But no need to apologize. I'm not the most tech-savvy person in the, in the world, and uh, my equipment's not really great, so I never... I, I can on... I've been screwing around with OBS Studio for so long now, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing with it. And I'm, I'm just happy I can get it to work at all. <laughs> I think that's part of the reason why this game is lagging a little bit is because I'm running it on my crappy laptop. <laughs> um, the thing I downloaded included it. Yeah, the, the, um, the video I watched where I first was introduced to this was uh, by Blue Television Games on YouTube. And I think on his video of this, he might have a link to the download files and stuff like that, if you want to check there. And then when I upload this to YouTube later, I'll try to put a link for the download if you can't get it. Dolphin's just trying to be mean. But yeah, I'm just gonna sting you with this jellyfish. <laughs> ah! Come on! I thought I said there's two more seconds. Jeez. Oh, Captain Wesker, you and I share that same problem. I get anxious about everything. I've had a lot of help when it comes to uh, setting a lot of stuff up, like from Pistachio and a few other people I've talked to in the past. Like, I'm pretty clueless when it comes to this stuff. 
I work with the animation programs that I do all right, but like when it comes to actually figuring out how my computer works or downloading like launchers and stuff in these games, it takes me forever. I always feel like I'm gonna download a virus and screw everything up. You stupid little buttercup bitch! There we go. I do love Mar the little Mario dolphins, though. I love how they get goggles on. <laughs> the background's cool, too. It's got little dolphins playing in the background. Oh, it's cool. You don't know how to get rid of anxiety? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well guys, I gotta say, as somebody who also lives with massive anxiety about a lot of things, it's not really something you get rid of. It's just something you learn little tricks to deal with. Deep breathing can help. Yeah, you can get an asshole. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, deep breathing can help. Taking a step outside can kind of help with it and get some fresh air. Um, a lot of times, like, you know, maybe listening to some music that you like, or... What helps me, honestly, is if I kind of close my eyes and I picture playing, like, old video games like Mario World and stuff like that. I know this kind of doesn't sound like the best answer, but... Unfortunately, anxiety is just something you gotta work through on your own. You gotta get... I go to therapy, I take uh, anti-anxiety meds, things like that. The biggest thing is that when you're, if you're somebody who does suffer from anxiety issues, is that you gotta get over your fear of asking for help. Because it's not something you can really do on your own. And there's no shame in having anxiety, it's just the world we live in. <laughs> do I know the science of it? No, not really. <laughs> Yeah, and not all fan games, but like if it's popular enough, like uh, it'll be listed there. Apparently, this one is doing pretty good. Come 
Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really know the science about or behind anxiety. It's just something I, I've lived with, but and it's uh, it's it is something you can kind of learn tips and tricks from professionals on how to get get through it when you're having like really bad attacks and stuff like that. But like the first time I, when I started having panic attacks, I had no idea what they were at first, which made me freak out about them even more. And I'd feel like a heart attack scared scared the shit out of me. But once I realized what they were, which was panic attacks, it got easier for me to talk myself down from them. Yeah, I've heard some pretty good fan-made Mario music for these games. But I am very much impressed by a lot of this game's, like, assets. Like, all the sprite work looks original, and, uh, level designs and all that cool stuff. I like it has, it has characters from, like, the different franchises, like the Paper Mario games and stuff like that. I got excited when the game first starts out because you're in little Toad Town and you have Luigi following you around. I thought he was going to be like a part of this game, but after the first uh, cutscene, major cutscene of the game that kicks off the game itself, uh, Luigi and Mario get separated. So I don't know if they're going to bring him back later or something, but so far it's just me and this little star character. <laughs> His name is Starry, too, and I'm like, come on, you can come up with something a little better than that. <laughs> but I like it when uh, you sit idle for a second, let little star strip, like, dancing and stuff. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I literally just downloaded a zip folder that had all the assets in it. I clicked on the thing that says launcher, and then let everything set itself up on my end. When you download the zip folder, you have to unzip everything. I don't know if you're doing that or not. I'm with you on that one, Captain Musker. I had leftover pizza myself today. <laughs> pizza. What? <laughs> 
There we go. Okay. That's what you're doing. I don't need rainbow shards in this level yet. I'm getting a little fancy about that. I know I've missed them by now. thing though is that once you get a rainbow shard it saves it so you don't have to get it again even if you die. Dolphins are mean. They're trying to bounce me up into the little jellyfish. Like a mouse. was like a boss. I'm loving this whole grab the star guy mechanic. It's hard to do when you're jumping around. Oh, 
my iPhone is fast. Yeah, this water acts more like jello than water. A rainbow chain. Yeah. If you go further that way, you can enjoy the nice a nice dolphin ride. Something as Yoshi's love to do. I even heard that if you clear the course in under three minutes and thirty seconds, you get a reward. A bunch of coins. I'm riding a dolphin and grass isn't slippery unlike wood, so you won't slide on it. If you jump at the right time when landing on grass, however, you can keep your momentum. Keep this in mind. Okay. Let's see what that means. <laughs> it's the friggin' Mario Kart game. Aw, oh, shit! Here we go! <laughs> ah, come on. This is mean! Stop that! <laughs> Hey, what's up, Sea Bobber? How you doing? Something tells me I will not be clearing this in three minutes and thirty seconds. <laughs> Dolphin's cute, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Good boy. It really has been hot. I feel like every summer in the last few years has gotten hotter and hotter, and winters have gotten hotter, too. Like, I remember when I was a kid, you'd be, like, friggin' knee-deep in snow, and that was, like, grounds for schools getting called off and all that. Nowadays, you barely get, like, any snow cover, and people are like, oh no, it's too much snow, it's a snow day! Whatever we do! And I'm like, dude, they wouldn't even have bad a die at this back in the 90s. <laughs> Good old global warming. It'll kill us all. Jumps are hard. And I have to use the stupid star thingy. Yeah. There we go. Mario games have like, you know, Peach is probably in danger right now. 
And Mario's just riding around on that. <laughs> Oh, that's not cool. Come on, Doctor. That was a very precise jump. But I am not pulling off. I mean, I, I've, I've always loved Mario games. I get it. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Wow, that just threw me right into the jellyfish. <laughs> Goomba again. Goomba <laughs> day. Oh, now it's a race. Ha! I just got blue shell. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, I thought I was actually gonna have to race him. <laughs> I still miss the rainbow shard. Oh well. Let's go. Uh, I love this gimmick. First time I saw it was in my brother's Mario Christmas hack that he did, and then they did it in Mario Wonder, and now it's here. That's cool. <laughs>
Nice. I'm not gonna lie. I know what that is, but with the silhouette, it looks like something else. Well, this is going to be short-lived.
sure I've got people to see. Alright, this is fair. I'm gonna get hit by these guys, I know it. <laughs> And she moves! But it didn't do anything. Oh, it moved the stupid sumo guy like over what now I have to go over and do it again. Awesome. I've actually played any of those games before. Okay. I thought for sure those little squids were gonna get me. I make it past the squids multiple times. And they get killed by the <laughs> into that. I've, I know I've heard of Borderlands, but I don't really know what it is. Yeah, it's great you zoom okay. Mushrooms, like, you know, passing out, like, big t-shirts at a friggin' concert. Or a sporting event or And some levels are like, nah, you don't need them.
getting a little frustrated. Already not looking promising. <laughs> Right about now would be a great time for a mushroom. Thank you. Okay. So better now. And uh, that happened. <laughs> Can I get a check mark or a checkpoint? Anything? Oh, do this to me again. Come on. Ah! Don't do that. I think I can find a check point first and then come back. That works! <laughs> Well, what do you know? That fire Mario. <laughs> we found the fire flower. You can shoot fireballs by pressing. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay, I'm. I'm happy to see them here, but why were they necessary when I already have the star guy? <laughs> Captain Black. At first I thought, I thought that said Captain Bitch. Uh -huh. Look who shows their faces, the red scurvy dog and his star mate. You're getting awfully close to me, ship. Can't have that now, can I? Enough, Captain Bitch. We know about your plan to take over the island. That big dino must have told the pair of you. No matter. I'll have me hands on the island soon enough. It isn't, it isn't fit for a duel here, but I have asked. 
I'll have asked Steve regardless. <laughs> Hello, water. Oh, so much for that shit. Yes, I get to keep the little shards I got.
Yes. <laughs> I think I'm missing something here. I'm going to have to go through all that again, aren't I? Yep, I fucking did. Thank you.
my controller was sinking.
Okay, this part right here can just work. I shouldn't have to respawn that sumo guy. <laughs> If I die again at the same spot, I'm gonna be so mad! <laughs> Excuse me while I scream. Ah! <laughs> By that same little cannon guy!
get that mushroom dead. Now I have to find these stupid things. Okay, this is one of those cases where I'm gonna say that this gimmick is this gimmicky ass level is outstanding as well. Mythic year more determined than I thought. We're right by me ship now. Head over so we can have a fight worthy of a pirate captain. Be warned, the blooper captain won't go easy. <laughs> I do like a pirate blooper though, that's fun. Ship that door. Let's go. For a second, I thought that lightning was because of the block. <laughs> There you be! Took that long enough. We won't let you threaten Yoshi's Island any longer. Har! I like your attitude, matey. Yeah, you'll have no chance against me, landlubbers. Oh, we got like Gumboomer or Gumbooter. And I'll help you too, mate. I think that's the pirate too. I thought he was a pirate too. I guess he's just a little punk. Don't expect me to return to uh, expect me to return, did you, Mario? Instead of ran into you like six times, I didn't get some that <laughs> With our teamwork, it'd be a piece of cake to um Oh, he just fucking yeeted that thing. I need no extra hands on me, that's so the Goombas don't have hands. <laughs> I'll be taking nothing like the rigs of that there Goomba. That sheik of that pony pirate. Oh, okay, so he wasn't there. Oh, sorry. I'm dying! Like the, the cephalopod something... <laughs> How are you? Okay. Hey, that little jumper blue bumpers! Not doing good in this boss fight. Hmm. Okay then. I could really use those fireballs now. Oh, 
Just cheating. <laughs> Fuck you. Stupid cheat, no goopa blooper. After a great start, are we? I'm not even really sure what hit me. That's 
sorry. <clears throat> it's quite possible that I'm just getting tired. <laughs> I'm not going to survive now. Thank you, bloopy bloopy. I don't 
like this guy. Come on, I'm getting more hit by these stupid minions than anything else. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I tend to lose my temper a little bit when I get frustrated with these games. <laughs> it's still a very fun game, don't get me wrong, but I'm getting a little cranky and a little frustrated with this. Okay, that's, that's just bad. If I get hit within the first second, I'm calling that bad luck and I need to restart. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we should have enough lives to get through this. Blobs, they put ink on Mario, which puts it on the screen. Essentially, because you know, Mario's vision is blocked. Hey, there's a little Goomba. <laughs> that Goomba just keeps getting the short end of the stick in this game. I beat him as a boss fight. There's that level where he's just, he's literally just sleeping off the side and you don't even really have to, you actually can, can miss him in that one level, but if you find him and he's, you can kill him while he's sleeping, he's just getting the short end of the stick. Take that, you motherfucking goofa blooper! And give me my rainbow star, you bitch! That's a big rainbow star. <laughs> thank you, thank you. With Captain Blotch plunged into the depths, the Yoshi village is free from being taken over. How did Blotch get a hold of a grand rainbow star? Was this how he powered up? Some mysteries remain, but two things are clear. Mario needs to find out who is behind all these scattered rainbow stars and get Starry back home. Let's head back to the village, Mario. We must be glad that we've stopped the invasion. Earlier in the Rainbow Ruins, All right, here we are. This place is pretty mysterious looking. I gotta tell me that we're close to whatever it is that we're looking for. <laughs> now all we have to do is find the dark artifact, wherever it is. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if there's any, even anyone here. Doesn't look like there's anyone up ahead, except for that, uh, that talking signpost. Still, we should be on alert for any guys. Let's head onwards then. Oh, I'm controlling them. That's cool. <laughs> they do anything? Yep. I'm playing as a little pirate Goomba. The sentient signpost. It seems to be written in some kind of ancient language. I got a clue what it says. We should have brought a translator with us. I like the little bolt the bomb.
special starry trees. <laughs> Nearly impossible to burn. Say, do we even know what this dark artifact looks like? Forget what it looks like. Do we even know where to look? <laughs> no idea. Arg, how are we supposed to find this thing if we have no leaves? Cool it, Gooms. We could alert some guys. Oh, come on, don't be, don't be stupid. Uh oh. <laughs> that dude's gotta watch his temper. Uh oh. Don't wait for me! What's that sound? Who's there? I think it's you. What was that for? Sorry. <laughs> of course I've had it. This is not the time for one of those tricks. We have to be highly professional about this mission. If we mess this up, our dreams of promo uh, promotions will be gone. Just like that. Gee, calm down, would you? Huh? Calm down! Calm down! No! We don't even know where we are now! Big chance of us finding whatever... <laughs> Over here, you two. Oh, is that it? Seems like it. That's great and all, but how are we supposed to get that thing out of here? Well, it was sealed with a rain... It was sealed with a rainbow star. So we can probably bring it using another one, right? While you two were goofing off, I looked around and found something pretty handy. No way! That's one of those rainbow stars! Amazing work, Voltar. I Voltar... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, do you still think that this is a good idea? Of course I do. Now was, that was our big chance. If you're too scared to go grab it, I'll do it myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Here's a new plan. Get the heck out of here! Raise yourselves! Thing's not very grateful, is it? Whatever it is, it's angry. Oh shit! That's a cool villain. A lot of work went into this game. Well, it seems the Captain Bodge has been stopped thanks to you. We owe you many thanks. Without you two, we wouldn't be able to call this beautiful island our home. You're welcome, Chief. It was an honor to help. <laughs> Oh, you're searching for the lo for your lost friends? Hmm. No, I'm afraid that I haven't heard of anybody else landing on our island. However, I do know somewhere rich in the rainbow stars that you're looking for. The warp woods are not far from here. We owe you at least a, a boat ride there. From what I've heard from old tales, the, old the rainbow stars can hold enough power to direct you towards your friends. That seems like our best option. Let's do it, Mario. Captain! Yo, yo, sir! Assume that you heard our conversation. Are you ready to cast off? Sure am, sir. Warp Woods, wasn't it? Tell you what, you two have some guts. It's you two. It's you two that made me ocean safe to cruise again. If that ain't worth a free ride, I don't know what it is. 
All right, follow me. I don't like here she's being intelligent. <laughs> well, maybe maybe intelligence fine, but you know, like not not have like friggin' boats like that. God. <laughs> Good luck out there. We'll, we'll be cheering you on. Goodbye, everyone. Time to take off. wanting to talk to you about this for a while now. Do you remember how I mentioned a shadowy figure that I saw before? I think I might know who that really was. I'm not sure if you would have heard of it, but there's an old tale about light and dark. Man, I've heard a lot of stories about light and dark things, you little star person. Man, I've been at this for a long time, you know, but I, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's about how a, how a dark star known as Starnox attacked an ancient kingdom where my home now is. Starnox! That was it. Whatever, whatever. There's always something with a bunch of big coffins. Can we get on with it, please? <laughs> I don't remember the details very well, but I think the light star here came to save the kingdom. I see the dark star using the power of the rainbow stars. My coffins, I got it. But what if that steel was weakened somehow? If that's the case, then it might once again want, want to achieve its goal of engulfing the world in darkness. So we find the McGuffins and then we stop the thing, like we always do. An ancient legend? What about light and dark? I, I think I've heard something like that before. Oh, is this something that everyone knows? All of us sailor types have heard it at some point. Or it's most believe it to be a fairy tale. A star like you know... If a, if a star like you knows of it, too though, well, it seems pretty believable then, doesn't it? But that Starnox yoke yo is really... Got this is throwing me off so much. If that Starnox yoke is really free again, it made Captain Blotch seem like nothing at all. No reason for me to get that pair, get the pair of you to the Warp Woods as quick as this beautiful will take us. I suppose you're right. Say, hey, Captain, how much do you know about these woods? Well, the place got its name from whatever it's got that makes it look all warp like Oh, and I hope you're not afraid of ghosts. I'm scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're used to dealing with them? Great. Place is chock full of them. We'll be fine though, we're real. I wish you I wish you luck out there anyway. I reckon you'll need it. It's like we're nearly there. Get ready. We're coming up to haunted soil. We're ready. I, I think. Let's do this. Thanks for playing! And that would be the end of the demo. It was really fun. I'll be excited to see more of this. See. For now, like I said, this is just a demo, so like, uh, I guess it's got the first world in it, or the first chapter of the game. There's all these levels here and stuff. But yeah, if you download it now, you at least get a few good hours worth of gameplay. There's uh, collectibles, I mean, there's those collectible star piece things to find and all that. I think there's only one level where I didn't get all the little shards. And I'll be uploading this uh, video whenever I get done with it. And uh, you, you can see the parts that you missed from earlier. But yeah, there's a whole story in this game and everything. I 
remember what level I didn't get all the little shards in, though. Anyway, let's see. Um, exit the main menu. There's also this that I found earlier. There's a gallery. Art gallery. Oh, that's neat. Um, there's Rainbow Pivia that has all the little enemy bios. If you're a fan of games like Mario Wonder, um, it definitely kind of feels like that. And there's a lot of like, I don't know why, but it's giving me a lot of Mario Sunshine vibes. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend this uh, this game to anybody who's looking to play some new new Mario stuff and doesn't really want to stick through a bunch of crappy ROM hacks. I mean, I played really good ROM hacks, but there are some crappy ones out there, so... <laughs> Let's see... How did I forget to get all the rainbows charged in? That was an earlier one. And I do love that they have a frog suit in this game, it makes me so happy. Even though the level's music reminds me of cinematic late night porn music. Where this hack is going, I hope it's. I hope they finish it. So many times I'll see like projects get started and then they never get finished. you can aim this a little better.
That was just crap. And this is like the one level where I didn't get all the shards in it. <laughs> For sure, it would be down here in this, after the first checkpoint, but I did not see it. Physics on those bubble blower things are not great. <laughs> eh, I'm not feeling up for this. All right, we beat the we beat it for the most part. We we missed one rainbow shard, but you know what? I'm I'm kind of done with it. <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty, everybody. Well, th if you stuck it out with me through this, thank you so much for joining me. This has been Life Aquatica presents Mario and the Rainbow Stars. And uh, the hack is not that hard to find online if you just want to Google it. Um, the file I got had the launcher in it and everything, and all I had to do was just kind of click on the X cable thing and it just set itself up. Um, I will try to post the link that I found in the description when I upload this to YouTube later. But for right now, again, thanks for joining. And remember, when life gets you down, don't forget to take it with a splash.